Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature. You might have heard in the news recently about the discovery of Dreadnoughtus, a massive dinosaur that is believed to have weighed more than seven T-Rexes combined. I'm here at the museum's Natural Heritage Campus where we have many dinosaur specimens in our fossil collection. And beside me is paleontologist Jordan Mallon. Jordan, how does the huge Dreadnoughtus, which was found in Argentina, compare with specimens found in Canada? Uh, Dreadnoughtus is a type of dinosaur that we call a sauropod. And these were basically large, long-necked uh, dinosaurs that lived uh, well, they were most common during the middle and the end of the age of the dinosaurs. And um, we don't find any of them in Canada, as it happens. And the reason for that is that uh, in North America, sauropods were most common during the late Jurassic period. That is about 150 million years ago. But within Canada, uh, dinosaurs, uh, the dinosaur-bearing rocks um, date uh, to the late Cretaceous period, so about maybe 80 to 66 million years ago. So, so there's a time discrepancy there. Um, what we do find in Canada are things like uh, the duck-billed dinosaurs behind us here. We find horned dinosaurs, we find armored dinosaurs, and we find tyrannosaurs like this Displetosaurus here. So uh, Displetosaurus is a close relative of T-Rex, and what we're looking at here is uh, the shin bone or the tibia. And when you compare it with that of Dreadnoughtus, you can see that it's quite a bit smaller. It's actually about 15% smaller. I know they didn't live in the same time period, but would Displetosaurus ever have stood a chance in a fight against Dreadnoughtus? Uh, in my scientifically informed opinion, no. Um, I really think that, that big sauropods like Dreadnoughtus were probably uh, immune to predation just as a result of their large size, uh, similar to elephants today. Uh, and actually, uh, Dreadnoughtus means uh, fearless, so I think they were fearless in that sense from big predators like Displetosaurus. Well, thank you very much, Jordan. And thanks for joining us to explore the always super cool topic of dinosaurs.